Hello, everybody. This is literally like we just decided to do this video like five minutes five ago. Minutes ago. <laughs> this is going to be a very yeah. quick video because I am actually about to get on with our Stronger Nurse, um, which was a planned video. And I was chatting as I as you chat with your girlfriends, I was like chatting with Stephanie on the phone. She was coming back from somewhere very special, which I will let her tell you guys about in a minute. And I was telling her about a dream I had that was wild. And it was one of those dreams that was like, this is not a dream, which I'll get into. And we pulled cards on it and we were prompted to come on and talk to you guys about it. But first, before we get to that, what did you do this morning, Stephanie? I had, okay, first of all, I got a text from my good friend, Lindsay, last night. So, hey, Linz. Hey, hey. Thank you so much. Um, she is kind of like a Facebook queen with certain things. And well, this little ad came up that the town next to me in Putnam, Connecticut, which is the northeastern corner of Connecticut geographically, which is full of interesting. I was gonna say that's interesting that this is now in Putnam because Putnam was hard. Oh, that, that was a hard town for me to be in because it just. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of weird stuff about Putnam. But anyways, so she sent me this ad about this lady who um, opened up a metaphysical shop, but she has the closest thing to a med bed you can actually get. Um, I don't know what it's, I wrote it down it's somewhere. Um, I think it's called a quantum healing bed. But anyways, <clears throat> it uses five modalities of healing, sound, vibration, um, uh, binaural beats, um, light, and there's a couple other things. And again, I, I was just listening to her, so I didn't take in all the information she was saying. Um, but if you live in the Northeastern area, I highly recommend this right now. She's running a special. It's normally $80 per hour. She's got a special for 25 an hour, which pff, like, that's unheard of. Okay. Like this is a really generous offer and you can literally book. She suggests booking 10 sessions. So if you multiply that, that's really not a lot. That's, that's 10 hours. And what, how much money is that? I mean, come on, that is so freaking cheap. But anyways, <clears throat> so cause she normally suggests about like two sessions per week for a few weeks, but I just got out of this thing. And let me tell you, I feel like freaking million bucks. No, I didn't grow tall or anything like that. It's not like I didn't grow a limb back. <laughs> not that I have any missing limbs, <laughs> but I will say I actually knew exactly what chakra it was working on. So my third eye was like vibrating like crazy. At one point I started to get um, in my solar plexus, some cramping going on. I started to cry at one point because I released something. And what she said was when you use this machine, there are some coils that are in the, this, this, they're like donuts almost. It's Argonite with crystals that match with the frequency of the chakra. And you want to put your intentions in to the, yeah. uh, am, am I echoing? You're fine. You okay. saw, I, I hear clearly. Yeah. It's echoing on my side. Hold on. I'm going to lower my volume. It's been doing that a lot lately. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to, um, can I share screen, Bryce? I think I gave you permission. So check it out. See if you can do it. Okay. So this is the place. Um, it is called 12th dimension. Hold on. Can you see that? Okay. Can you see the, the, the lettering yep. 12th yep. dimension metaphysical shop and holistic healing center? It's this little itty bitty shop. It's, it's just gorgeous inside this thing right here is the bed. That's so you see how these light things they're in these like donut type things. These things are loaded with crystals and these, um, these wire um uh spiral thingies i forgot what she called them i think they're made out of copper or something it's kind of like i would think it lines up very similarly with a tesla coil <coughs> so this is her information if you live in new england okay so if you live in boston area that's going to take you about an hour to get there um without traffic that is and yeah, she, she does sound bowl healings. And um, another thing is she offered for me to teach my tarot course in February there. So I kind of got a job today. That's amazing. And I think it's so karmic. 
that it's in Putnam. Yes. Well, Putnam is a really, really cute, like, downtown. It's like... Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's just like, the energy. It's just the energy, but, like, it's it's really cute. There's a lot of Tartarian, like, buildings there, so definitely. And the way that the hills are on the Tartarian buildings, oh, mud flood 101. Oh, my God. Yeah. Definitely mud flood. Yeah. So, anyways, let's get into your dream. I got my cards if you want me to pull on it. So you guys know we, the last video that was up on my channel was us talking about um, Atlantis, the Tartaria, the, the map of, of geographically. Basically, if you missed that episode, I'll put it down in the description box below. Basically the Southeastern part of the United States, in our opinion from our research is the original Egypt. And so that would make the Mississippi river, the mighty Mississippi Sorry. Kyle. I'm in a good mood right now. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, and, and I know I've shared it before. There's a, there's a Tartaria group on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook anymore, but I was a part of it. And they showed pictures of Memphis, Tennessee, which is on the Mississippi. There used to be a Sphinx there in the early 1900s, but they removed well, it. The best stop is a crystal pyramid. Yeah. Like it's, there's, there's, there's some head scratchers there. Well, I don't know if I've said this before on my channel, but I know I've said it to Stephanie offline. I think, in my opinion, that New Orleans is the real Alexandria, Egypt. Why is Alexandria, Egypt important? That's where the Library of Alexandria was that mysteriously disappeared right before the Dark Ages. Now, let me tell you something. If I were to, if, if there was a, this library of Alexandria is like my dream boat place to be like if i was going to go on a honeymoon somewhere i would request to go to the library of alexandra i would tell my husband i'll see you tonight but i'm going to just stay in the library all day because that would just be like my i mean that would just be like oh my god to have all of those papyruses those scribes those books that have been taken from us like holy shit and we know new orleans is a very magical magical place my dad's mom's family came up through New Orleans. So I got a little, 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 uh, New Orleans French in me. That's why I said, let me, I say a little French in me a little bit. Um, it's from New Orleans. <laughs> so New Orleans. So down there in that bayou. So, um, French. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. The rest is all Anglican, but uh, well, or, 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 or is it? We don't know anymore. We just don't even know anymore. And I, I do know that I have Egyptian in my blood from my 23 and me, but where was this Egypt? Well, to make a long story short, I had a very crazy dream last night. And there was no reason for me to logically have this dream. Because last night, I was not thinking about Tartaria. And I was not thinking about a particular person who was in the dream. There's no reason why this person should have been in the dream. So let me set this, let me set the scene. So in my dream, Stephanie was with me and her son. We were on, we were in a boat that looked like a bumper boat like from an amusement park and there was a man and his wife that were driving the boat now this man and his wife are on youtube as well they are youtubers i don't film with them stephanie doesn't film with them this person is not in my realm of everyday living so why the fuck would he be in my dream who knows so we're going down the mississippi and we're seeing new world we're coming kind of coming into like all the lakes you know Anyway, we're coming into the city. It's a dream. It's all. And I'm, I'm saying to this person that I'm not going to say who it is. This man driving the boat. I said, hey, is New Orleans or was New Orleans the real Alexandria where the famous library was? And he looked at me and he said, yes. And he took the motor of the boat and he dropped the, the boat, like dropped almost like you're at, at a water park and you go down that that um, drop. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so we drop down and we go and it's like we, we changed dimensions. We like jumped back in history and all of a sudden it was like being at the um, it's a small world right at Disney World where we're just watching. All of us are just watching Alexandria, the city of Alexandria happening. And it was a beautiful city. Oh, my God. And there was so much energy. There were people everywhere doing it was such a different energy than anywhere I've ever been before. Everybody was just loving on each other. You had the voodoo people over here doing their things and the white people over there, over there doing their things. And people were learning and you could see the library. And it was just so amazing. It was like gobsmacking. But it was totally New Orleans. Totally. And the next thing I know, he does his little choo -choo -choo, and we go back up again back to New Orleans as we see it today. 
And this truther, this guy in my dream, turns and looks at me and he's holding a knife. And he says, it is Alexandria, but I can't let you tell anybody that. And the next thing I know, Stephanie and I and her kid were getting her kid in the back seat with his, he was playing his video games. And we're like in this blue Toyota. I don't drive a blue Toyota. Stephanie doesn't drive a blue Toyota. And we're, like, Kia. we're <laughs> racing to get out of New Orleans. And the sun is setting. We stopped and got gas. We went by the ATM machine to get more money. And we're racing to get out of New Orleans. And we're like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. We discovered too much. And then I woke up. And so I had Stephanie, well, I pulled on it. She was on the phone with me and we kind of got prompted that we needed to. Now I'm going to show you guys before, um, I'm going to show you guys the map just so you guys can see this because there is no reason. So this is um, New Orleans with the Mississippi Delta. So again, New Orleans is at the end of the Mississippi River. The Delta is where it, it kind of comes it's out. It's called Simon's song stuck in my head. What is that song called? Mississippi Delta. So, something about the Mississippi Delta. Sorry. He's the same guy that did the You Can Call Me Owl song. Yeah. Yeah. So you see here how new it comes out of the Mississippi Basin. Here's a great shot of the Mississippi River. Right? Now, let's go over here and look at the um, Alexandria, Egypt. Comes right out of the base of the Nile. Right here, see this? This is the Nile, Cairo, Alexandria. Ah. Very similar in ge geography, isn't it? The way it's set up. Yes. Very similar. So we did already pull on it. And again, I'm going to reiterate to you guys. Well, I didn't pull on it. You did. I did. But I'm going to reiterate to you guys. Now, Stephanie does know who this person, other person was in my dream. Do we ever talk about him, Stephanie? Never. That's yeah, it's, like, it's not like it's somebody that we know to attack you, me, anybody that we know. I've never done a show with this person ever. It was the ran most random thing. So, uh, Cindy, Stephanie. Yes. <laughs> you just ask the cards because I've pulled. Now, I'm going to have Stephanie pull on this. So, it's not coming from me. Can you ask the cards? Was this a dream? Or was this, um, I'm going to ask if it was real. What the hell? Hold on. It's getting juicy. I love when the cards get juicy details. Sorry. I'm really hyper. She warned me. I'm going to have a lot of energy today. <laughs> That's fantastic. You know, I'm like, I'm on a hyper high right now. <laughs> well, that's good because we might be putting ourselves at risk by doing this show, but that's okay. because I'm, what I was getting. I'm like, I think we're supposed to say something, but it could put us in danger. But let's just do it anyways. <laughs> LOL. My whole life's been in danger for over a year now and I'm still here. So hit me with your best shot, baby. Like... You, you're not, you don't scare me. I have nothing to lose. Like, I literally, I don't have anything to lose. You are fucking with the wrong girl. I don't have children. I don't have, I literally have no, it's just me. You have Ravi. I have Ravi, but Ravi's got other people that love him. So if you take me out, what are you really, I've, I'm, I'm going to put this information out regardless if you take me out or not, because once the information's out, it's out. Mm-hmm. Girl. Girl. The whole of spirit has activated upon me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so angry. <laughs> Everyone's going to think I'm nuts after this show. It's all good. Okay. okay. We're nuts. It's cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, this med bed, whatever you want to call it, this is a real deal, I tell you. Okay. So I have the justice and the judgment card next to each other, by the way. Um. So I think you were getting kind of like messages about something that you needed. Literally, it's like it. This is something that does need to be brought to light. So in a sense, it is kind of justice for us. Right. Um, if this is accurate information, that is. Um, I happen to agree with you on this. So I'm gonna there's no that. way we can really prove this theory because we don't have access to 
the actual library of Alexandria where all this information is. So this is, I, I'll say for disclaimer purposes, this is purely speculation, but it makes sense. It's a, it's a, um, an educated response. I have the higher font card. So I think that your spirit, my spirit, I don't, I didn't have the same dream last night. I don't remember any of my dreams last night, but I'm assuming I was there but for the ride, you know, yeah, you were, um, you and Tyler were there. Yeah. So the higher font card would tell me you were in a spiritual state, not necessarily a dream state, a spiritual state. I was being shown something. And there is some military value to this, by the way. We have the Knight of Wands, but I want you to look at the helmet. Is that a bumblebee? No, that's a helmet. That's a knight's that's a knight's helmet. Okay. I can't see it that well, but okay. Okay. This is the last card. Tower. I got the tower too in my fold of my spreads. So, in my opinion, <laughs> we're playing with fire, but yeah, we're supposed to put it out. We're so we're we're supposed to put this information out there. We ask a speculatory type of information. And we'll let the audience do with it what they want. Yeah, take what resonates. Just if do it doesn't resonate with you, don't hold on to it. So speak so people, um, can we just ask the cards? Just and this is just take what resonates. Is is New Orleans actually Alexandria? Where the lost library, where Cleopatra lived. At the base of the mighty Mississippi, which is the Nile. And again, guys, we don't have any way to prove this academically at this moment, just by looking at making educated guesses at what, what we know from Tartaria and what we're seeing in the maps as they are. Did Alexandria have a major court system by any chance? Oh, probably. It was a huge, it was on the, I mean, huge. It was a huge city and in, in apparently back in the day. Let me see if I can pull up some pictures or some um, paintings people have done. Well, here's modern day Alexandria. And it's under the water. Part of it is, yes. Part of like, the library and part of Alexandria went under the water. I've covered it before on my channel when I was looking at Hypatia, who was a woman who was a great scholar back mm -hmm. in the day, who was murdered by the Christians. So this oh, is cool. figure murdered yeah. by the Christians. These are paintings, are guesstimations of what ancient Alexandria would have looked like. The Alexandria Ancient Library. So again, the library disappeared. I listen to my favorite pictures right here of it. It disappeared. It was ransacked and destroyed right before the coming of the Dark Ages. So right after the Council of Nicaea. And so they have like a school system. There was like a school system there. Where people go there to learn. And we're talking good learning, not like learning we have today well i'm not getting a definitive yes on it but i'm gonna lean toward a yes on the question um the justice card did come out and it's next to the ace of pentacles which is like to me that's like somebody's working on trying to get this exposed does that make sense well it's not me i mean i've literally had this assumption for a while That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking that maybe the dream that you had wasn't necessarily it's almost like somebody gave you the information in your sleep space. Well, the interesting thing is, so I, I already I and Stephanie can vouch for me. How many times have I said this to you offline? Oh, Did several. I, we've several. talked about it many, many yeah. times. Never on it. I don't think we've ever mentioned it on a show. I might have mentioned it like once in passing on the show, but I never really focused on it because there's literally no way I can prove this. There's literally no way right now I can prove this. But that dream was it I, I woke I woke up shooketh from that dream. I was I was shooketh from it. She it was shook it. I was shook it. I was like, yeah. what the fuck was that? So a group of um so I that, oops, that's three of cups, it's not three of pentacles. 
Um, well, we could look at this as a group of people. The Three of Cups stole it. Yeah. Stole something. So it's celebration. So they're of, like, hee, 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 we're going to trick everybody. Yeah, Seven of Swords is stealing something. Um, oh, Ace of Cups is on the bottom. Um, and then I also have the Five of Swords, which would suggest perhaps that it went from being one place and turned into another. And we have the Fool and the High Priestess card. So, yeah, things are hidden. So that's why I'm like, I'm probably going to go with a yes on this because I'm not getting a straight out yes or no, but it's like leaning toward a yes. Does spirit, mother, father, God, source, creator, did they want us to put this episode out today? So that our audience, because it's not about you and me. Guys, this is as far as it goes with us. There's nothing we can really... I mean, I do think we need to go to New Orleans at one point. I need to take you there because this is a cool city anyway. But, um, like, there's there's no nothing I can do as Bryce in Atlanta, Georgia, to prove this theory correct or incorrect. Like, well, how am I going to prove that? Like, I don't have access. I think once Tartaria is proved correct or released then maybe we'll we'll be given granted information about where these real cities were um so but it is my opinion that yes new orleans is alexandria but i hadn't thought about that i mean i know we just did our whole video on it but i i haven't really thought about i mean i went going to bed last night like i was watching true crime like i was trying to that's how i put myself to sleep as i was watching true crime so like you know like i wasn't thinking about this stuff when i was going to bed and i certainly wasn't thinking about this other truther who was in the boat with us who threatened us because this other truther and i our paths don't cross like i don't think about this guy or his wife so the fact that he was so clearly in my dream was alarming what's that oh the sun the sun card um we have a warning here <laughs> it could bring well no i'm sorry this is no sorry this isn't ten of wands this is nine of wands so i feel like this could trigger some people oh we're good at that it's fine so we need to stand your ground is what that's saying i do have the three of pentacles so that's collaborating together to bring out this information um, I do feel like the near future, there's going to be exposing of some kind. I need to get one more card here to clarify these other two cards. Queen of Cups with the Ace of Wands. So that's a yeah. So is there some, so this is, I keep thinking like why New Orleans, why Alexandria? Why is this the thing that's going to like really rattle the cages? Is, so there have been many scholars and many people believe a lot of the papyruses and scribes that were in the library of Alexandria were moved to the Vatican. And I would definitely say that's probably very accurate. However, We've assumed all these years that the Library of Alexandria was in Alexandria, Egypt, that we know as we know it today. If people know that it's actually New Orleans, Louisiana, is there stuff in New Orleans that people can get a hold of that would open this, that would prove? Like, if there is an archaeologist watching right now who is awake or somebody who lives close to New Orleans that knows where to go and look, are there artifacts in New Orleans that can prove this theory correct? If the person, if there is someone who knows what they're looking for, went there to look. Because again, like why would New Orleans be the big kicker here? A lot of wands are coming out in these and swords. Well, number one judgment card would indicate there is something there that's going to kind of rip a Band-Aid off of some sort of truth. And not sure if it's an archaeologist or not. Um, 
because I have wands and wands would indicate to me the energy of somebody with intuition, but not to say archaeologists don't have intuition because I'm sure they do. So I would almost say an archaeologist that is partnering up with maybe a psychic medium type of energy. Um, but you would also need the emperor card is coming into this. So that's telling me you would need to be, you would need to have some sort of high power to actually know where to go and have the key to get there. Does that make sense? Like, and protection. So I want you to look at this map right here, you guys. You can see Memphis coming all the way down to New Orleans. You see how the delta is there where the Mississippi mm -hmm. River drops. Well, again, as I said, we know there's Baton Rouge. We know that um, allegedly some of the library is under the water. But we've been told in, in is the missing piece of information in the Mississippi Delta. Because we've been looking this whole time in the Delta of the Nile over in Egypt. But what if it's in the Mississippi Delta? What if we had people go, if they can go under the ocean here, probably not super close to the shoreline, but out a little bit, would they find what they're looking for? Give me one second, Bryce. I'm going to use a different, this is a new deck of cards that I don't channel the greatest on yet because I'm still right. learning it. So I'm going to use another deck really quick. I'll bust out my light seers deck. Let me just smudge cards real quick here. Yeah, that's a more difficult deck to, to learn off of. Or even not even, I mean, just in a body, is it in a body of water? Because we could even look at the bayous, too. I mean, there's so many bayous. I mean, there are bayous all over the southeast. There are bayous. We call them swamps down here in Georgia. Um, there's so many bayous, so many swamps. I mean. Sorry, I don't know if you guys hear Robbie's barking at the neighbor right now. I do, but it's very subtle. Ravi's funny. It really, it, it like offends him that other people live in the city of Atlanta. He's a prince. Like, how dare, how dare these people walk by our house? He likes to argue too. He does like to argue. I've never heard a dog argue like he does, even a husky. <laughs> he talks back all the time. He's a very mouthy boy. Mm -hmm. Well, it's definitely going to be something very hard to find because I have the Ten of Swords. So that's it's difficult. But considering I have Six of Wands, which is victory, I would say we're looking at a potential yes. Um, but I want you to look at this card. The Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Six of Cups is like a reminiscing type of card. Um, so I'm kind of looking at past life stuff in this card and it might actually take somebody to find it that literally is starting to get memory back perhaps if that makes any sense at all that literally could be your dream i mean i think i lived in new orleans at some point in past life i mean i know i have like dna connections to new orleans through my dad's mom who was my dad's mom my grandmother marianne she was like the real psychic like believed in reincarnation kind of stuff. And her family came up through New Orleans. They lived in South, they had a dairy farm in South Georgia, but they came up through New Orleans. Um, it's a very healing energy where it is too, because that's a king and queen of wands. Oh, page of swords. Page of swords might say that that's the truth um, coming out. Because um, I asked, is the library under the water in New Orleans nearby or in the, the Delta? Or the bayous. I mean, and the bayous, you guys, like, you can watch, like, true crime shows. It's not like they can really search in some of those bayous because it is dangerous. There are alligators. It is, like, 
I mean, there's, if you watch the true crime, a lot of people dump bodies there because bodies won't get found sometimes in the bayou. Did they plant alligators there to make it dangerous to hide it? I don't know. I mean, there's alligators all over South Georgia and um, Florida and but you why? Alligators up in the Northeast. Do we have alligators in the Northeast? No. Up the coast? No. So we have alligators all over. We have snakes. We have snakes too. We have alligators all over the Southeast, not in Atlanta, but like in more swampy. So South Georgia, the Okefenokee Swamp, there's a lot of um, alligators down there, alligators all over Florida. So in, in the coast of South Carolina, on Hilton Head Island just a few years ago, I, I go to Hilton Head all the time. A woman was out walking her dog and she jumped in front of an alligator that went to get there. I mean, it, it, she was fine, but she literally jumped in front of the alligator and her dog. I mean, that's that the alligators are a problem. In the southeast, there are problems in Florida too. Like when you take your dog out in Florida, you have to be aware because they are everywhere, um, and they are predators. So, um, so I mean, ask did 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 the uh, controllers put alligators there? They're not crocodiles. Crocodiles are from Africa. Alligators are here in the United States. I held a baby alligator. I, I have as well. I have a picture on my Instagram of me holding I have a picture of it too. It was at a uh, Parrot Jungle Island in Florida. And I, I held mean, a baby tiger and a baby orangutan. I haven't been on my Instagram in forever. I was actually um in the um the keys. I was down in the swampland the uh of um sorry, I'm looking at my Instagram here on uh, of um Florida years ago when I was in my, I was in Miami for a bit because my teacher was there and my friend Lily and I had gone and done a boat ride in the um, Everglades. And we, we went the boat ride. It was kind of an airboat ride to find and look at the wildlife, but actually the boat, the boat ride was really fun. And I kind of wish we weren't even paying attention to the, to the wildlife because the boat ride was the airboat was what was fun. Right. They planted them. They planted them. Oh, big time. I'm going to show you real quick. Okay. Keep pulling it up. I'm still, I'm um, looking through it's, my Instagram. It seems during some worldwide change, which I'm going to go on a hunt here and say during mud flood season, this is literally planting something. This card means to plant something. That's one of the meanings of the seven of pentacles. As you can see, he's planting these seeds down in the ground, right? So that with the wheel of fortune, you know, to, to, to change everything so they could change everything, you know, right. uh, send everything over to the Egypt that we have known forever, right? To hide things. But look at this, the hanged man card with the hierophant to stunt our spiritual growth because obviously there's something there that would enlighten us or whatever, or, you know, bring us into uh, a different vibration or whatever you want to call it. Right. I mean, these cards speak it volumes. All right. Look here before I, I found them. This is Robbie as a oh, puppy. You guys look at him with the bowl. That was, well, that was, well, we had to, uh, he had to fast one night because he acts, he ate sandalwood. Oh. <laughs> so we had to fast and he brought his bowl because he was hungry. He ate sandalwood soap that day. But that was him as a baby. That was my, that's my friend Denise. That's right outside the shala where she picked him up uh -huh. as a baby. Um, but I'm trying to find, there's me as a, a bubba in uh, South Carolina. Let's see here. I'm trying to find. Let's see. Oh, his face is too cute. Robbie. Yeah. I've had the joy and pleasure, everyone, of meeting Ravi, and he is just the funniest freaking dog ever. He's so know. funny. <laughs> this is my friend Mark in Ohio who helps me rescue dogs in India. Um, those are some dogs he rescued um, before the world shut down. Where are the freak? Okay, let, hold on one second. Um, I also... Is there any questions you want to ask about Alexandria and New Orleans, Stephanie? Is there any, what is, what does God want us to know about this situation? I'm just going to just pull in general about your dream and see what source says about your dream, because I want to know why we were threatened with, uh, you know, a, a, a weapon from this truther person. Oh, this is the funniest video, guys. I have to play this while she's pulling. My niece, this is my niece was really, my oldest niece was really, 
really little. She was spinning on that toy and she fell over and she goes, it's no funny, guys. It's no funny. Because my sister was laughing. It's no funny, guys. She's dizzy. <laughs> Jacqueline is now, what, eight years old? So this is a while ago. It's no funny, guys. I said, this is, remember I posted this oh, in 2017. I said, how my practice went this morning? No funny, guys. Reenactment of my practice today is brought to you by my niece. That's <laughs> funny. Um, no funny holy crap. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much like we need to put the word out there because it's stolen land. It's stolen. Like, it's not stolen the way they want us to think it's stolen, isn't it? It's stolen. They stole it from us, didn't they? It's not yes. like Native Americans. They stole it from us. Yes. Um, it, 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 there is a caution here that that is symbolic that we're kind of playing with some fire putting this information out. Um, but it needed to come out. We have a star card right there. Um, There's my grandma. That's my grandmama, who's no longer Aww. with us, who is from, her family came up through New Orleans. That's my granddaddy right there. Um, I'll find these pictures, guys. There's somewhere on my, I haven't been on Instagram in a really long time. There's somewhere on my feed. There's the slum kids. A um, bunch of India stuff. But yeah, anyway, so I passed a picture a while ago. I'm going to I'm going to end in this picture. I don't know where the uh, I've got to find those pictures or somewhere. Um, a while ago, I, I, I had right before the world shut down, I got home from teaching my store one morning and I live 70. I live like right in the middle of the city, don't I? Right in the middle. And I live in a gated building. I live in a very nice part of Atlanta, very gated, very safe. Um. And there, when I pulled up and parked my car and I walked to my front door, there was a red rose. I took a picture of it. It's up on my Instagram. I'll go back and find it and show you guys just sitting on by my doorstep. When was this? Right before the world shut down. And oh, here we go. So here the Everglades. So here's me in the Everglades, guys. So this is in the Everglades. Um, yeah, you look like you're having fun there. <laughs> Fun. I'm trying to see if we have that picture. There's my friend Lily and me. Um, yep. I was like, let's just do this ride. Let's just hang back in this airboat. We don't need to see no crocodiles and alligators. Let's just go on the airboat. This is what's fun. Um, there, it's my friend Lily. Um, yep, there it is. Aww. <laughs> Our Todd was once like, oh, that's your family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Well, how symbolic is that? The reptile, right? The reptiles are what is what's guarding. So I'm going to go back and see while you're pulling on this. And I was always in mystery because the way the rose was placed it on place placed it placed on my doorstep was very intentional. And I knew it wasn't like some guy who had a secret crush on me because literally my life is boring at that point. Well, it was red boring. rose symbolizes the Magdalene line. But I didn't know that at the time. I had no idea at the time that's what that was. I took a picture of it and I was like, wow. And I, I just kind of like left it. Um, can we ask, will the cards tell us who left me that red rose on my doorstep? Of all the doorsteps that rose could have be le been left on, it was mine. And I just, I'd forgotten about it when I signed on the Instagram to find those um, pictures for you guys from the Everglades. Look, there's how, that's how tall my granddad was. He was like 6'5". Look at that. Oh, my God. Um, there's my mama when she was young and my Aunt Elizabeth, my dad's sister. Um, there's Robbie when he was a baby, Bubba. That's my dad, my, my granddad, my dad's mother, my great-grandmother, and me right there. Um, oh, that's, that's how Robbie used to ride when he was a puppy in the car. This is how he would ride the whole way, the whole way. He would get in my lap and he would lay down like this. Oh, he's so cute. Um, I'm going to find that picture because it was the most random. It was just a red rose. I mean, we've got a few minutes left, guys, before I have to hop up and hop off and film with um, Ashtanga Nurse. Um, 
who left that red rose because it was the most random and i'd forgotten about it until i was looking through these pictures for you guys and i was like oh shit there is like that red rose popped up again to remind me hey there was a red rose left for you on your doorstep right before everything shut down and your whole world changed all of our worlds changed well, it was a female was it was it magdalene It was actually symbolically trying to tell you that things are about to change because I had the magician card. Um, but we have the two of cups card here. And I think it's a reminder of like your soul contract or something you're co contributing to in this time period, because the two of cups talks about being like, it could be a contract. Um, right. I almost feel like, I know this sounds kind of wackadoodle. I'm not exactly sure it was a living human being that actually placed that rose there. I think it was either. That's what I was going. That's what I was kind of alluding to. Yeah. Because that's four weird. of swords. So that's like a sleeping energy, meaning kind of like I'm getting spiritual almost. Um, Did Magdalene leave that rose for me? That oh. makes sense because I mean she was the order of the red rose. There's when I got my nose pierced, guys. They don't wear gloves in India. <laughs> oh, that's not it. Hold on, it's my friend Elizabeth. Um. Anyway, I'll find that picture again because it was crazy when I saw it. I was like, the "Heck, oh. is that?" Oh, it was from Moon Day. It was just advertised. Oh, here it is, right here. There it is. I said it's been reality probably someone probably just dropped it but this person right here was my neighbor at the time and she said haha I saw this th this morning and thought so my neighbor saw that too she was my neighbor and she's like whoa like that rose was placed right there on your door look how beautiful that red rose is it wasn't dead it wasn't like I said someone probably dropped it but it doesn't look like it was dropped because you know where I lived Stephanie no one would just drop a rose right there would they no it was put no. there intentionally Um, well, it definitely was not, it, it definitely was intentional. The star card is here. Um, not only that, I have the death in rebirth card, the nine of cups, the 10 of cups and the moon card. Um, I'm really not thinking this person is actually in a living body right now. It's, yeah, it's, it's gotta be a spirit was trying to remind me of it's an ancestor because the ten of cups is family so it could certainly be her since she is an ancestor of yours yes. and that i'm part of, and i'm is it was it to remind me because at that point i knew that i had magdalene speaking to me but i wasn't really invested reminder of your destiny the star card the order of the red rose yeah was it to remind me of my bloodline <laughs> And interesting that that picture popped up on this day that we weren't planning on doing this this video. And I had that freaking whack dream last night about being hunted down by one of these truthers. And I think, I don't know if this truther in my dream was is bad or good or not, but maybe it was a warning that, yeah, there are, we know that 90% of the truthers are bad. We know that 90% of the truthers are fucking evil and part of this cabal. Oh, there I am. I don't know what was that. I, I didn't know I had the privilege of being on your Instagram. Well, look, here's our video from the Georgia Guidestones. Seven days before they went down. Yeah, I'm forever going to laugh about that. Like, literally, I've saved this footage because I think this it's might like be the last footage of those Guidestones <laughs> ever. Guidestones that, that um, exist because literally seven days later, they came down from when we were there. Oh, speaking of Lindsay, there she is. Oh, yeah. 
Anyway. <laughs> I love so those pictures. I about the order of the red rose that um, I didn't know at that point was going to be walking back into my life. Well, I had a seven of pentacles, so I feel like it was like a little like Easter egg almost, like yeah, a nugget. Like it's a, it's a, it was a nugget to start waking you up to more stuff, to more mystical. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm getting nuts because I literally have to sign off in a few minutes, guys, because I've got my episode with Ashtanga Nurse coming. Can we ask? I think Magdalene has something she wants to say about Alexandria. And guys, if you hear loud banging, they're literally building a high rise next door. So at this point, if I had a red rose sitting on my front porch, I'd probably think it was from one of the construction workers. <laughs> I love getting red roses, though. I can't, I can't see what the message is on the screen. Okay, we'll leave it at yeah. that. I can't. I'm not comfortable with sharing it yet. So to be no. continued. To be continued. All right, guys. So do your part. Go out there. Do you think New Orleans is Alexandria? Let's get the word out. They might be able to shut me up. They might be able to shut Stephanie up, but they can't shut all of us up. Keep talking about this. The truth is out there. The truth. It wasn't that the X Files thing. The truth is stranger, or the truth is out there. And Mark Twain, who wrote Huckleberry Finn. And Tom Sawyer, who took place all up and down the mighty Mississippi River. What did he say? Truth is often stranger than fiction. All right, guys. We love you very much. I'm going to be on with Ashtanga Nurse very soon. I have all your questions. And so um, I don't know if this will air before or after Ashtanga Nurse. We'll just see how the editing process goes. But we love you guys. Keep exploring. Keep being weird. Let's do this. Let's bring the truth out.